Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, Episode 600. Possible Side Effects of Testosterone Pellets for Women. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Moffat, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. Today we are going to uh, be speaking about some of the side effects that can occur with testosterone pellets in women. And we are going to discuss ways to troubleshoot and to prevent these problems, things that we have learned over the last 20 years of taking care of women and giving them testosterone in the pellet form. Now, this may seem like a weird thing to talk about because you never hear of a treatment on television or anywhere else where they say, oh, and these are the possible side effects, unless they're just speaking 100 miles an hour and they go, blah, 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 oh, and you can die. <laughs> this, that doesn't happen with balance. And we aren't going to, we aren't going to place the side effects or possible issues that may occur with women and testosterone pellets in a subterfuge so that you can't even understand it. I'm going to discuss each one, and they're not many. They are just bothersome to my patients. So they may be bothersome to you if you choose to get testosterone pellets. So first I'd like to discuss um, why I only use testosterone pellets in women. I, I find that it is the best way to deliver testosterone for women. It is It, it develops a an even level every day, all day long, you get the same dose of testosterone until the pellets start to run out. And then they start to drop and then we replace them. Therefore, you're gonna have the same level of testosterone every day, just like men do their whole lives. And honestly, I was talking to a patient the other day and I, and I thought of this possibility. She said, well, why, why is it better to have the same hormone level every day. And I said, well, the only reason we have hormone levels that go up and down before menopause is because we are being primed for procreation every month. And if that was the best way to have your hormones um, secreted and the hormone levels distributed, then men would have hormones go up and down every day. But honestly, that causes a lot of problems. It causes um, emotional problems. Sometimes you feel great, sometimes you feel bad, because every day your testosterone and everything and your estrogen and progesterone are going up and down. That's why one of the reasons I like testosterone in pellet form. It stays the same every day. I know what I'm going to get when I wake up. I know how I'm going to feel. I don't have to guess, oh, my God, do I have PMS? Do I, do I have enough estrogen? Am I going to have hot flashes while I'm, I'm talking in a meeting or doing a health cast? So... My, my patients come to me so that they can have fewer side effects and a better effect every single day that is predictable. Some patients come to me for other reasons. One is that they, they've had side effects to all the other forms of testosterone, the, the gels, the creams, the, um, the vaginal delivery systems, uh, and they have not liked it. They didn't feel normal and they didn't feel totally back to who they used to be. Now, that's what pellets do, that the other forms of bioidentical hormones and prescription hormones don't do. Pellets make you feel like you used to feel when you were 35, when you had normal hormones. That's the biggest benefit that I can see, and the biggest thing that I want is to feel like I used to feel without ups and downs, even better than I used to feel, because I used to have PMS too. So this is something we can offer our patients. Other patients come to us because they've been on other forms of testosterone and they're just disappointed. They're, they're miserable. We're the last stop. If we don't fix their testosterone deficiency um, symptoms, they're done. They're not even going to look. They're just going to give up on a lot of things in their lives because uh, they haven't found a way back 
to who they used to be. In, the, in short, pellets are the safest form of testosterone for women. They are the best in terms of keeping the dosage the same every day. And they are the most efficient and the most, they give you the best level so that you feel normal. That's what we're looking for. So um, I like to do pellets as my, pellets are my only interest. Estrogen, testosterone, thyroid, and preventive medicine is all that I do all day long with patients. When I was a gynecologist, I did surgery, I delivered babies, I did counseling in the office, I did pap smears, I did procedures in the office. I did all of these other things, and I was distracted all the time. I may be seeing 30 patients because I was in an insurance-based practice, and that would cause me to be really tired, especially if I'd been up all night delivering babies. Honestly, I think OBGYN is probably the hardest specialty and probably one that causes its doctors to be overwrought most of the time because they're just always late to everything except the deliveries because that's our first that ends up being our first priority. So, when I have this little cartoon because this is how a generalist, a general OBGYN feels when someone a woman comes in with all of her questions about hormones. She feels like, oh no, this patient has all these questions and all I've got is like 15 minutes. I can't do this and all the other things I need to do, breast exam, pelvic exam, talk to her about her mammogram and uh, ultrasound, all of these things, or, or plan a surgery. I can't do all that in 15 minutes. Nobody can. And when, when a woman comes in with hormone problems, that requires a long discussion. And I can offer that in my practice now, but I couldn't offer that in my old practice because it was insurance-based and I would have been out of business pretty fast if I had hour-long appointments there. So this is, the, this is the predicament that most doctors are in, and I'm trying to help them not have to deal with hormones. They can deal with everything else, and then I'll take the hormone part over. Just like if you look at it, this, I want people to look at it the same way as they do in fertility. Doctors who don't do infertility send to an infertility specialist. They take care of those patients in that way, but they don't do DNCs and hysterectomies and, and pap smears and pelvics. They just do infertility. That's what I do as well. I do hormones, and I do preventive medicine and trying to keep people young and healthy as they age. So these are the reasons I have complete control over, over your dosage, which lets me know when you are, are better or not. Sometimes with other forms, you may slather the cream all over you and use a month's worth in one day and not tell me or, not, or be embarrassed that you did that, but tell me that you're unhappy with the treatment, but you may not have followed my directions. Or you may adjust the directions, and that's not going to tell me how my treatment actually was because... You may not tell me that either because it's embarrassing to say, well, yeah, I didn't follow your instructions. Um, the complete, my biggest reason for pellets is my, the complete resolution of symptoms, uh, stable blood levels for four months, and one dose for four months. You don't have to dose every day. It's not a hassle. It's not something you have to add to your schedule. Um, and also replacing testosterone and estrogen, if possible, is the best way to reduce the number of diseases you're going to get as you age. Very few side effects, very few complications to what I do. If, I, if you go to a doctor that's like me and has done it for a long time, there's very few complications. Why we haven't had um, very many side effects with pellets in our practice is because we have 20 years of experience. We are proactive in, in any problems that we get. We try to we try to respond to our patients via email or via phone if they have any complaints and try to fix those before the next visit. Uh, we've customized our equipment that we use for the trocars so that they don't leave scars. We've customized everything so it doesn't hurt. Um, we've changed our technique and used the most expensive scrubs and the most expensive pellets so that we don't have expulsions where the pellets just come back out. And that happens to a lot of practices, but it doesn't happen very often. In fact, it's rare in ours. 
Um, my success rate in terms of reversing the, si the symptoms of low testosterone is 95%. And I think that's amazing. I've never had that high a success rate with anything I've done besides delivering a baby. Here, here's your baby. <laughs> All I did was get it there through, through the birth canal, but you made the baby. You, you took care of yourself during the pregnancy. All I'm doing is handing it to you. So I had a pretty good success rate with babies. But in terms of GYN, this is the best success rate I've ever had in doing anything. And uh, we've had, I mean, one of the reasons is we've had over 100,000 patient visits in our office over 20 years. Um, the, other, the other issue or the other reason that we have such a high success rate is we aren't going to charge you anything for us to qualify you to see us. In other words, if you don't need to see us, if you don't have anything that we can fix or help, then we'll tell you and you won't ever come into our office. We'll just look at your lab and send it back to you and say, take it to your primary care. So this is something that we do differently than other places because we don't want to take your money or see you if I can't help you. So that's another reason I have a better success rate than maybe other doctors doing the same thing. We also look at an ultrasound of your pelvis to make sure you don't have any disease or masses or something that's going to complicate your treatment. We also look at your medical history to make sure that there's nothing that we need a, an authorization from another doctor that you see before you get uh, testosterone. And we also look at your mammograms to make sure that there's no breast cancer starting out. And that's not an issue for testosterone, but it is an issue for both preventive medicine and it is an issue for giving estrogen. So we don't want to treat women who already have breast cancer with estrogen. All of those are safety issues. We are trying to be as safe as possible and to avoid complications in our patients and in the patients that are being pre-qualified to come see us. I, I'm, I'm going to be talking about the, um, the immediate risks that happen right after you get um, an insertion. Uh, insertion means we put the pellets under the skin into the fat and then put a steri strip over that. And as your skin heals over three days, then it's sealed in basically. Uh, and and the, there are some things that can happen during the initial uh, first month or so. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, knowing how to handle complaints and problems because of the hormone pellets is one of the most important things that your doctor can offer you. Because if we can fix anything that's not perfect or anything that's not right for you, then we are fulfilling our duty to you. We're making you as healthy as possible from our end. And as I've said before in my health cast, you have to have the intention, intention to be healthy and I have to have the intention to heal you. And managing problems or questions early on is very important and that's one of the things that we do very well. We always have an RN answering the phone and answering questions for our patients. That's not something that is uh, common in any of the other um, practices that I know of that do uh, hormone uh, replacement. And it makes a big difference if you're talking to a secretary versus talking or talking to a business person who doesn't understand medicine versus talking to an RN who does understand medicine and who can explain the issues to you. Um, <laughs> a case of testosterone deficiency, this um, cartoon kind of explains what women feel like when they don't have their testosterone or they have waited too long to get their testosterone pellets. Basically, you just feel deflated. You're exhausted. If you don't have testosterone, that's a, a, a normal state for you. But after pellets, you feel, you feel normal. You feel good. But uh, when you don't have testosterone, this, this cartoon says uh, a dad telling his kids, don't worry, mom's getting her pellets tomorrow. She'll be fine. So <laughs> that's, that's a common thing that people tell me if they wait maybe an extra month for their pellets, five months instead of four. So this is, this is a list of... Um, the symptoms uh, uh, that you can have from lacking one hormone. 
And these symptoms are, there's many symptoms that are associated with low testosterone. And many other types of doctors try to fix these with a medication for each symptom. And this one, it's very efficient. This one testosterone replacement as a pellet can resolve these symptoms. Their lack of libido, sexual dysfunction, um, lack of orgasms or poor orgasms, or you have to try so hard to get an orgasm, it's not worth it, uh, fatigue, uh, depression, anxiety, um, being moody or irritable. Usually you won't notice it as much as your spouse will. Um, a lot of my patients have memory loss and trouble thinking where they can't get the word that they're trying to say, and their kids are worried about them having dementia, and, and all it is is a lack of testosterone, and, and their brain comes back, the clouds lift, and they get their brain back. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people lose their motivation to do things, so they just sit at home. Um, migraine headaches after uh, age 40 that are new oftentimes have to do with low testosterone. Decreased muscle mass, arthritis, um, poor balance and coordination. Those all have to do with your muscles, and testosterone stimulates your muscles to both grow when you exercise and to metabolize sugars so you don't gain so much weight. Um, increased belly fat and weight gain occur at menopause and also occur when your testosterone drops because you're not getting as much activation of your muscles, and that's where most of your, most of your calories are burned. If you don't have um, testosterone, you can even get hot flashes from that. And I know that sounds wrong, but you can have hot flashes from low estrogen. Some people get their, estro their estrogen replaced. They still have hot flashes, and that's because they don't have testosterone replaced. Um, bladder spasms and bladder irritability and urine loss that all can occur because you don't have enough testosterone. And usually that's surgically fixed or fixed with a, a medication, while just replacing your testosterone often fixes this problem. Uh, osteoporosis is both an estrogen problem and a low testosterone problem. So that is something that testosterone helps make bone faster. And uh, your immunity is, is related to testosterone. If you don't have testosterone over a period of years, all of your T cells and T killer cells and T helper cells that kill cancer and viruses and, and bacteria decrease in number and activity. So it's very important that you have these types of um, symptoms erased by taking one thing, and that is testosterone pellets. <laughs> the most common problem that I, I see every day is that people have a a couple's problem because their husband has not lost his desire to have sex, but but my female patients have because they we lose it as women earlier because our testosterone drops 10 years before men's testosterone. So when our testosterone drops, we're like, hey, I don't, who are you? And I, I, why did I marry you? And I don't want to have sex anymore. It's off my list. And, and our husbands are just like horrified. What happened here? You know, we used to have a great sex life and now nothing. Well, we repair that, and often too late, we often see people after they've had divorces over this, which is not ideal, but it's best to, to get it fixed before you have to divorce the man of your dreams. So that's something that we try, we try very hard to fix. So there, the, immediate, um, the immediate complaints that women have when, uh, when they get a testosterone pellet. So you come in, we've looked at your lab, I've talked to you for an hour, we've gone over your symptoms, what to expect, what, um, what other things you need to be healthy, your, your um, medications uh, to prevent certain illnesses or to fix prediabetes or, or uh, low thyroid. We, we treat all of that. And then you get your uh, pellets, sometimes with estrogen, sometimes without. If you're premenopausal, you just get testosterone. So the, the five big, or the five complaints that people may have after they've gotten their pellets, and we warn them about this, but sometimes they've forgotten, um, are too much sex drive, and, that's, and all of these are temporary. Too much sex drive. The second is vaginal itching and swelling. 
The third is um, an enlargement of the clitoris, and that usually is temporary. It usually happens because the clitoris has shrunk without testosterone, and then as it comes back, it overcorrects and then goes back to normal. Um, vaginal discharge, which is just normal vaginal discharge, like you had all the way up to premenopause or menopause, but you're not used to seeing it anymore because you haven't had it for a while after menopause. So it's just going back to normal. And the last is weight gain. And the weight gain isn't from fat. The weight gain is usually from muscle growth. Your muscles grow, your muscle, muscles are uh, burning more calories, but if you don't eat properly, then you will not lose the fat that you should be losing as your muscles are growing. So that would cause you to gain weight. We don't usually see that. We usually see a weight loss, especially if patients are following our directions and eating properly and exercising and doing all the things they should do. And I am going to talk about each one of these in detail next week because I'm running out of time. So we will talk about hypersexuality, vaginal itching and swelling, clitoral enlargement, vaginal discharge, and weight gain, and what we do about it and how we prevent it at BioBalance Health. So please join me again next week, and we'll talk about that. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the BioBalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.